Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to set up the startup demo. And this demo is built on Gutenberg, the course layout, the uh, instructor layout and the student layout, etc. All these blocks are built on Gutenberg. So we'll see how it works and how you can modify these blocks as well. So let's get started. Now here I have this uh, clean WordPress site. And in this site, I'll go to the themes and I've already uploaded the WPLMS 4.9 version of this theme. And we need to upload the, the child theme from the package. So there is this WPLMS package, which you'll download from the theme forest. And inside this package, you'll need to install the 4.9 version WPLMS.zip. And then in the child themes, you will need to install this WPLMS Gutenberg.zip. Now we'll be adding more demos on uh, Gutenberg and the and the MOOC theme. So uh, all both of these themes are are using Gutenberg, whereas the blank child theme uses the Elementor. So to import the demos which are built on on Gutenberg, you'll need to use WPLMS Gutenberg and the demos which are using the app style demos you'll need to use the wplms mooc.zip and for the elementor style demos you'll need to use the wplms blank.zip so we'll simply install so once you have installed we can activate this child theme and you can select any configuration right now because we only have one demo first we are going to select this and continue and here uh, you can remove the layer slider revolution slider and elementor and continue with the installation because these plugins are not required for the demo next you need to enter the purchase code so once the uh, purchase code is there then you can activate these three plugins if not installed otherwise they'll be installed first and then activated since in this i've already activated these so you should not face any issues while activating these three plugins which are the core plugins for the for this demo right so now here we get to the import content and if you see a message like this which it means that the sample data was not able to load from uh, one of our servers so you can try using the load content from alternate server and we can simply click on this and it is it will load the data from the alternate server and now we can go ahead with the import since there's no slider required so this is unchecked and we can simply click on import now once the installation uh, now once the demo content is imported here you can upload a new logo so you can simply click on upload new logo and upload a new logo and change the primary color of the and you can simply continue now when you continue all the settings are complete and when we view our site it will look something like this so once the installation is complete your website will look something like this 